Let me see some butt sex. <laughs> to episode 93 Ooh. of Flavorful House last Sound. week. Last week was a total write-off. I was up chucking uh, vertically. It was literally going like this. This whole area. Yeah, yeah it was brutes. brutes. You can't see it, but we are ankle deep in vomit. In uh, my fluids. It's good. It's a good smell. Nice. That's a weekend for me. Ooh. But we're back and in charge, in large, you know, first week of the gathering. That's what's up. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry. <laughs> Saw a documentary on Jugglers and that happened. It was pretty funny. Right. Best. Uh, so, first book. Let's review Mega Man issue 20. Mega Man Cross yeah. Sonic. I think this is like 23 or something. I'm not sure. First it's, issue of the Mega Man crossover. Yeah. Uh, this one features uh, Dr. Wily and Eggman. And they're like, hey, man. Say it the proper way. Dr. Robotnik. Oh, sorry. sorry. That's this guy. And, I'm pretty uh, sure Eggman is, is his son. I'm pretty sure that's son. Not. Who would have sex with him? Oh, no. <laughs> Robots? So basically, like, what's his name? Gets the Chaos Crystal, Dr. Wily, and he's yeah. like, hey, man, this is pretty cool. And all of a sudden, they, like, start talking, like, yeah. telepathically. Who are you? Who are you? And they're like, hey, man, I really like the cut of your jib. Hey, man, me too. And then they, like, meet up and just, like... Some interdimensional plane. Yeah. Uh, and then they're, they're decide like... decide to combine their forces to like, take down... Hey, man, do you like peanut butter? And he's like, I'm a peanut butter. And they're like, let's have peanut butter. And they're like, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what Anything happens. could be yeah. like, hey, I got chocolate. I got peanut butter. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> High five through the dimension. <laughs> Whoa, man, that'd be sweet. So what do you think? That this would... is the first time these two have, like, met. And I loved how it started with Dr. Robotnik and Dr. Wily. Like, it's perfect. Uh, like, the whole the writing, the story, everything about it, I don't really care about it too much. I don't, like, I don't think it's a good story. I do like the combinations of the characters and the robot they masters do work and really Sonic well. masters. They do work really well. Uh, like, that sounds good. What's the phrase when it sort of just, like, falls under the same sort of beats that these story, kind of stories usually fall under? I got nothing. It's a cliche? No, I won't call it cliche. Same old, same old. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I just liked that as soon as they met up, they're like, "Hey, you got an annoying guy, a hero who's always uh, <laughs> yeah. messing up your plans. You too. Hey, I'm with it. Let's let's do thing. But okay, so you guys. I don't know, man. You guys sound like it's a negative, but you guys no, like I, it. Right? It's it's completely okay. I'm not gonna follow along with no. it. But I like. Like, I've always liked the art in the Mega Man books and everything, because I think it's pretty damn That's close true. to video game aesthetic. But yeah. I think the plot isn't anything special, but the writing is good. It's clever. Yeah. It's fun. And eh, I just, it I, works. I want to see what happens, man. Dr. Wily. Dr. Wily. I want to see what Wiley. happens with him. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm going to Tails, be, man. Right? Tails. I... I I think they could have not called him man at the end. That was a little but weird. But that's like tails man, knuckles man, man like, of tails. That would be like who cares, yo? Who cares? Yeah, everything looks good though. So. Fun fact: I think the first comic I ever owned was a Sonic comic. Hey, we so like yeah, <laughs> a loser. <laughs> oh, no, but it was so I don't even remember. Up next we have Batman number one, Little Gotham. This one uh, was Dustin Nguyen. Nguyen. Mm. He's pretty much the Scotty Young of the DC Universe. And they're like, Scotty Young's killing it on these baby covers. We need to do something. We need the cuteness to come up. So they came up. I mean, Little Gotham's been around for a while. Like, yeah. But now it's got its own book. Uh, I was confused because it takes place in holidays. And I was yeah, like, they should have released yeah. this back in the fall. But, <laughs> like, so but it's like two different yeah. holidays. I mean, within the same month. Well, like America. It's like America. As a it's note, we month. did no research on this. So if it came out as a digital thing back then. Probably or, did. Something else we didn't know, and we're sorry. I'm not. <laughs> Get off her keys. <laughs> uh, so what do you think? I thought, like personally, I thought the art was like fantastic. it's adorable. I like oh, Robin, amazing. like Damien yeah, being a kid. They brought Damien. Like, yeah, yeah, that was like, good. That was nice. Where he's like learning about Halloween, and he's just like he trips that one kid. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, takes his candy. He's mine. <laughs> and you're like. You look can? Yeah. But I, I just like that. Like, just a little issue. But then, when all the villains are in the shop and, like, yeah, we finally get to eat and be normal. And Batman so walks in and like, like, like no, no. good costumes, guys. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, costumes. It's all on me. And they're like, ah, yeah. And then, uh, Kirsha Gordon's like, <laughs> 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 yeah, he comes in for news. <laughs> we know you're here. Batman walks in, puts her high fives, and walks in. <laughs> yeah, man, throws a grenade. 
All of them die. It's, it's He's like, I did what you couldn't accomplish, <laughs> all right? You idiot. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. And from that day forward, no crime was ever in Gotham Batman again. fell into yeah. a deep, dark depression. So that was the Halloween one. Then the they had a hero combination of Gordon and oh, Uzi. Uzi and the grenade. And he's like, thank you, Uzi. Uh, and then the second story is all about uh, Thanksgiving, Thanks, where a penguin is like, ah, turkey brethren, you shouldn't be killed. Yeah. And then he For this, raids the parade and with the march of the turkeys. Yeah. And it was precious. And he's just like, eh, penguin. And then uh, Damien. Uh, when he's talking to his little penguin pals and then they all start like clapping and squawking for him. Ah, uh, oh, so yeah, cute. It's good. Warms the cockles in my heart. So, okay, what did you like better, this or ABX Babies? This. Yeah, this. I agree. Far and above. The watercolors yeah. just make so it all much so much nice and pretty. Mm. Just and they weren't all babies, they were adults. Mm. But just cute as hell. It's true. It's yeah, true. this one's pretty good. I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you picking up issue two, though? That's the question. If I remember. Ooh, I don't know, I, like I think this, this is... I'd, I'd like to see the on. direction, like, where they're actually going to go. Because I don't know. I don't think there's really a direction. Is there a direction? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the more every, holiday books. every yeah. issue is just going to be standalone little misadventures. Yeah, they need day. an Arbor Day book. That holiday is not being what? represented. A Bastille Day book? Yeah, let's, yeah. let's support Frank. Do some uh, pagan holiday ones. Or... You mean all the holidays? <laughs> <laughs> But up next is us, uh, part five of our Age of Ultron business. Yes, that's right, issue five of Age of Ultron. He believes it's already been issue five. We started this like last week. Halfway there, gentlemen. <laughs> like, holy man, holy. Yeah, you gotta push through this. They're just like, let's do it. So, in order, because it's coming out so early, they're like, we can make it boring as hell. Apparently. <laughs> Info <So>. dump. <laughs> this was ultra boring. Oh man. Could you say? Uh, uh, yeah, you could. You could say that. And I'm gonna agree with you because I, honestly, the second I finished reading this issue, everything left my brain. I don't. So there was nothing issue, exciting in this entire issue. It's pretty much explained, or everyone pretty much figured out they're gonna go back in time to uh, yeah. stop Ultron. That, this whole issue was literally explaining that one thing. Well, and then they right, found yeah. out that Doctor or that Nick Fury was still alive. They're like, hey man, yeah. what's up? And he's like, nothing much, just chilling. Then took you guys along to get here. And he's like, here, if you need anything, I got everything in the back. And they're like, yo, did you steal this from me? He's like, nah. <laughs> no, I let me borrow it. <laughs> he's like, borrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it! And then they go back into. And then Wolverine is like, I'm gonna kill Hank Pym. And they're like, no, don't do that. And he's like, Try to stop me. Like, I got going. Right here, good. I can hear you. <sighs> so then they go back in time to stop him, to tell him not to do it. Mm. And Wolverine's like, screw that. I'm going to go kill him. In front of everybody. Yeah. Like, And he's like, I'm not asking for pomation. <laughs> That's, pomation? Yeah, he's like, you guys, I'm going to fight you. Dude, that's this. Yeah, so the next book will just be establishing shots yeah. and then yeah, exactly. people. And can we talk about. Like, I don't like the entire structure of these issues. Yeah. Like, issue one through four, there's so much filler with nothing going on. This pa this issue is like twice the size, it feels content wise. Yeah. Most of it feels pretty boring, and it could have been explained throughout what was happening. Why have 12 issues when you could get it done in like six? You know what I mean? Because you can sell more yeah. with 12. I don't know. Were you, how are you going to sell those variants? Sure. Gonna have are you going to get variants on one true. issue? You got to tie in more stuff. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's true. And can we talk about um, the? I guess it's a Brian Michael Bendis thing where they have the the whole like double page thing, yeah. and you're supposed to read like that. Um, yeah. Sometimes the this... panels aren't like, and you're like, usually where are we supposed it... to go. Like, yeah, like, that happened to me <laughs> twice at least. Like, what? Yeah. what am I doing? Usually that stuff is very clearly laid out, and you have a good thing. feel for where everything is progressing, yeah. even. Like this was terribly done. This is it's like Before. each panel on its own page and nothing kinda of overlaps and you're like, yeah, Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna read this wait a minute, what and then it feels what? like okay, there's a stoppage here, but <laughs> like, then I don't know. You get to doing. the next page and it's like wait, that <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. That feels like it mm. oh, oh, oh Yeah, I really wanna do that because I'm like, Yeah, you just said something And you're like, I've been reading comics for twenty years. How do I screw this up? And then you and feel then like you realize idiot. it's not you. Well, sometimes. Messy issue. But um yeah. I don't know. So far, I'm not filled with confidence. 
He kind of had confidence that. Last yeah, issue. like there was a couple periods there where we were feeling sort of optimistic about this, and now I don't. Also, I don't if like Nick this. Fury has like a plan for everything, how could the Red Hulk smash his door so easily? Like you would start the plan, to. baby. <laughs> If they could All do that, the they weren't ready to join him on the mission. I guess. They need that Rolk punch to get through the door, yeah. unless... Uh, <laughs> he just gets shot. He's like, also, uh, what about all the other, like, giant Marvel events that have been happening for the past couple of years? Where's Nick Fury during those times? What about the whole uh, Hammer shenanigans? Doesn't matter. What was Nick Fury plan for that? His plan was to wait back for Ultron. <laughs> this is more important. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, this issue is, is good, I Pretty guess. poopsies, girl. Well, I, I feel like they're setting up for something crazy near the well, end. Yeah, like, I get it, so. it's the middle, put a bunch of information all at once, condense it, get you up to yeah. speed, and then, like, it's, let's just do some action stuff. Yeah, it's like Harry Potter, you read it, it's boring as hell, and then the end, the last, like, hundred pages, you're like, alright, this is wicked. That's, that's Harry Potter. How disagree. many pages are in a Harry Potter book? <laughs> I don't know. That too you many. have to wait for too many, to get man. To... Especially like the I, last book. You're like, what am I reading? That dude is so good. No. So basically, I think they're setting up for something cool. Let's hope so. I would hope that's I mean, every comic book yeah, ever. That's every. I event. hope this is going to be good at some. <laughs> is that they set up the good parts for last? Now, time for my favorite part of the episode. Last week's question. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Last week's question was, uh, "What uh, superhero would you like to see in the '70s?" And like, what was like a storyline that would happen with them? And uh, there are some good ones. This uh, comic, Cosmic Herald, <clears throat> he says, "I'd love to see uh, more info on the augmented reality." You guys, it's not about the question, but he'd like to see that. Nick, make that happen. Okay. We'll see what we can do for you. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> We'll try to augment that reality. Okay, like, there's lemons here, okay? Just picture that. We <laughs> no, did it. He's talking about the Marvel comics that no, have the AR ours. functions. These are, these are uh, our augmented um, But back to the question, Teslum165, uh, he says, I want to see Jake from Adventure Time in the 70s, and he'd call everyone a jive turkey. Uh, he looked really like that wizard. He looked like that wizard when they are uh, in the wizard training. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's a good episode. Uh, cool Cats 036, I'd like to see Vibe in the 70s theme situation so he could actually be the coolest superhero and he would be in a disco adventure. Okay. Vibe. Vibe would work in the 70s. It's His true. name is just It fits. goes with the time. Especially a disco adventure. That's spot on. His yeah. catchphrase could be his name. It's like, yeah, this is vibing. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I'm feeling uh, the vibe. Cool like, Cats. Yeah, we would feel bad about him. Cool Cats also asked, do we uh, ever look back on our old stuff and think, how'd we get here? Because we started from the bottom now, yeah. Oh, God. No? No? No. No. But, yeah, do you ever, like, look back and you're like, eh. Oh, well, yeah. I'm, I'm really glad that we've moved out of the basement in here. Mm. So much I'm really better sad now. that people can still see the first episode. Uh, do you want me to take it down, Nick? Do you want me to take yeah, it down? Maybe. Do not go back and watch it. It's crap. Everyone's going to watch it. Although, there are, we, we did have some gold episodes. Like, There's... the robot one, who was trying to learn how humanity works. So he, he scrolls through the internet looking through <laughs> old things while we review comics. It's amazing. It's I most just remember the, uh, like, right. what, was it, what was that sex move we made of? The Helena Troy? The Diana Troy. Diana we Troy. Just, wow. Harvey's. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that on the show. <laughs> but Spillsbury, 1947, says, uh, I knew that they are going back in time to kill Ultron. Most superheroes have been around since the 70s, so it's a difficult question to answer. But I'd like to see Harper Rose 70s style. Because the way she dresses now is a fashion disaster. It would fit in the 70s, though. With the, I don't know about the nose thing. I think she's, yeah, I she's hot, though. She's fine. She's one of those alternative beauties, girl. I like it. You know? Beauties. Suicide girls? I'm down with that. Uh, I'm so down. All about that. <laughs> Takes so. regular girl. Killer. Put tattoos. You did it. I'm okay with that. Make them really pale. I'm fine with that. I mean, just pale in general. I'm just so like fine. Don't don't care. not feed them for a while. Keep chained up and then take pictures of them. I don't right. And then, and then tattoo them. Perfect. So now, uh, perfect. Get some scented yeah. markers. Okay. <laughs> so they smell good. I get it. Because yeah. okay. they haven't showered in weeks. Because uh, exactly. you know you haven't allowed them because right. they're right. chained up. and can't right. eat. That's sexist, buns. This show respects it's, women. Shows. Alive P zero zero one says uh, Venom in a comedy revolving around him and his teenage friends. Their mishaps and their coming of age set in 1970s Wisconsin. I'd watch that. that oh, was, Venom Wait a minute. Though. That'd be amazing. Is it Kelso? Is it going to be Kelso? 
but Venom, and he's just like coming of age, and he's like, I love Led oh, no. Zeppelin. What's his name? No, that Topher Grace. Yeah, the guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's none of it. Mm. <laughs> it. I just it. got it. I just got yeah. it. He's a clever guy. You thought about something before he wrote it on <laughs> you YouTube. You can what get is it that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Mega Man. No, I lied. Mega Dark Batman. Whoa. See, how I could get that wrong right now. No, I don't read middle words either. So. <laughs> yeah, shut up. He says, I want uh, Daredevil to teach kids to look before they cross the road uh, so a car filled with ooze doesn't fall and hit them in the face and make them blind. Good call. <laughs> Should uh, guest appearance on Sesame Street. Yeah, right? That would be awesome. He comes in like this and he's like, all right, kids. kids. Ooze. <laughs> um, and uh, finally, Flaming Jellybean says, I want Batman, Dazzler, and Black Lightning trying to fight a bunch of awkward white dudes that are ruining their groove. <laughs> you honkies. I also read a really good one. Um, someone sent in. It's about Alpha Flight being the 70s, and then Sasquatch just had a giant afro. I like <laughs> if that. he was I think just that was, a giant afro. I think that was Brent J. Kelly. Yeah. Our boys. That's a good one. He, he was just a giant ball of... He's just like... Guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, he's got... A zoot suit on, so it's just puffing out from every. Animal. What's your obsession with zoot suits? Zoot suits are amazing. That's the forties, dude. That's the forties. I don't Not care. The 70s. Uh, I don't know what but it's like the, the big puffy. You see that oh, Joker yeah, figure button? That one. Anyways, uh, so yeah, this week's question that. for y'all is: um, What two characters would you like to see crossover? We had Mega Man and uh, and Sonic. Which ones would you like to see? Bun said uh, Mario My and Kratos, Kratos, which I think is amazing. Um, I maybe would like to see um, maybe Mandingo from Triple X Films and uh, Sesame Street's uh, Big Bird. They can go around. I guess they were in video games. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't even have to be video games. So Mandingo and Big Bird. Yeah, you said video games. Yeah. Doesn't have to be. Man. Man. Just, just crossover of anything. <laughs> yeah. Let's get anything. So Mandingo and Big Bird. I want Let's Banjo from Banjo Kazooie and then like some dude from Blops and Backpack. Just like, <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> That'd be a pretty good game. That'd be, it'd be an awesome co op game where he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Yahoo! And then Headshots. What, he's in Mario now? No, he, he kind of says that. Yahoo? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Nick wins this week. Anyways, uh, so we'll see you guys for episode 94. Ooh. And keep it real. And uh, on 3123, Flavorful Sounds.